What's up, what's up, what's up? So here's another of my Thailand stories. So I went to, um, I think I said this story before, but I'm gonna say it again. I went to um, Thailand and um, I ended up going to a bar I asked the African bros, cause I always ask them cause they, you know, live out there and they know what's up. So this one dude, I, you know, I'm almost thinking that it was my ex-wife's boyfriend who took me there once. And then um, I only remember soy something. And then um, I was, um, I think either I took a taxi or I asked another brother. And he told me where it was. So I'm thinking I asked a taxi soy something. And he knew the club because they always know. They all know the um, African brothers hang out and stuff. So he took me there. And I walked in, it was upstairs, and I walked in, they were playing um, um, all kinds of music and stuff, um, Tupac and, and stuff like that. I was like, well, it's pretty cool, you know? So um, I didn't immediately start talking to the women there. It was all brothers, a um, few Thai women there, and it was kind of spacious. So, you know, I got my drink, and before I started dancing, you know, I scoped it out and make sure you know, peeping out any haters that might be, you know, under the table or, you know, behind some shades of blinds or whatever, and there were none. So I just went on the dance floor and just started dancing, you know, with my drink in my hand. And so this one um, lady come over and she started talking to me. She was half African and half Thai. And she was cute, you know, so she came over perfect English. And she was like, hey, you know, what are you doing here? And I'm like, what do you mean, what am I doing here? And she said, um, you know, what do you, you know, I mean, what do you mean? She said, oh, well, you know, you're not African and mostly only African brothers come here and stuff like that. And I'm like, no, okay, I'm American. And is it a problem? She said, no, no, you know, just interested in the stuff, you know. So I was like, okay, cool. And then um, I had left and I didn't need a cup, but I went, you know, to get a drink and start dancing again. And um, she came over and started talking to me again, and then she offered to buy me a drink, you know. And I think I was just drinking sodas or something like that. And I was like, okay, cool, whatever, you know. And then she said, come on, let's leave. And I'm like, go where? She said, let's go to some other place. And so I'm like, okay, cool. So I was a little bit hesitant because I didn't know if she was trying to set me up or anything like that, you know. So we went and um, we went to some other bars and stuff, and then. She had um, asked me where I was staying, so I told her where I was staying, and um, she asked me what I was doing the next day, and I told her, you know, I'm just shopping and stuff, and I'll be home by, I used to come home at this time, and it was usually about 5 o'clock, 5 and stuff, I mean, it was almost 5, because I always had a set schedule, and then um, what happened was, uh, I don't know why I'm going down the street now, I don't know, I know. <sighs> there's another road that I'm turn on and it's really cool and pleasant to go down it's um it might not it might be fast sometimes it is sometimes it's not but every, the street I always i just turned off you know i go out i often take the road so it's like boring so you know just change the scenery and stuff but anyway um oh that's cool you can go check that out anyway um what happened was uh at five o'clock i hit um came home, I mean, went back to the hotel and stuff, and I got this, I think they had telephones in the rooms or something, yeah, they had to have telephones, I got this call, you know, somebody was down there to see me, I'm like, okay, so I didn't know who it was, I think it may be the African guy, you know, <laughs> that's where I didn't know who it was, and so I went down there, and it was her, and I was like, whoa, what you doing, she was like, oh, you know, I just thought I, you know, I finished work, so I'm, you know, want to hang out with you. I'm like, okay, cool. So um, we went out and ate, and ended up going to clubs and stuff. But we didn't stay out long because she wanted to, uh, she wanted to hang out with me more, you know, in private. So I'm like, okay, fine. So um, uh, she said, well, let's just get a room. And I'm like, ah, oh, nah, it's cool, just hang out. And she said, no, no, let's get a room. And I was like, no, 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 I want to hang out. You know, she said, come on. And I'm like, ah, I was like, all right. So I went to pay, but she was like, no, she'll pay. So we went, got a room and stuff. And then, um, what happened? Uh, we got a room 
and then uh, uh, we just sitting and chatting and stuff. I think I went and bought some food and stuff, you know, sitting and chatting and stuff. But the next thing you know, she just started touching on me, and kissing me, and I'm, and, you know, and I'm like pushing her off of me and saying like, no, 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 you know. And she's like, why, why, why? And I'm like, I'm not in that mood, mood, mood. And she's like, why, why, why? I like you and I want to be with you and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, you go to that club. I know you got other boyfriends. You know, you just go hang out with them. You know, she said, no, I don't hang out with them guys. You know, because um, I think she said she dated one guy, but they broke up within a week because he was, I guess, trying to, you know, do what do guys do in those situations. It's not sexually, but I think it was like trying to get her money or something like that, you know, trying to play her or something. And so I'm like, well, what, what makes you think I'm not a player? And she said, well, you know. You don't seem like that. You're just too nice and stuff. And I'm like, ah, oh, shit. They, these people go with this nice crap, you know? Because <laughs> I hear that a lot. And so I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. So um, we were eating and stuff. And the next thing you know, we don't fall asleep, you know? So I wake up. She wakes up. We talking again. And then she like, I want you. I want you. And I'm like, no, no, no. And I'm like, no. And she's like, yeah. You know? And I'm like, no. So I'm like, I'm going to sleep. So, you know, it was, you know, I was sweating and stuff. So I went took a shower and stuff and she went and took a shower you know and I put my clothes on you know shorts because I always slept in shorts and stuff and so she was like um wow where in the world am I at oh anyway this looks really different like all these lights and stuff you know, usually the street usually is dark but anyway um the next thing you know she just strips down to her birthday suit and she had a beautiful body. And then just got in one of those doggy stops, heads up and heads up and whatever, whatever down and stuff, you know? And I was like, wow. I was like, wow, you know? I was like really cool and stuff, you know? So, um, wow. I was like, that was really cool and stuff. And, um, uh, wait, I gotta make a U turn. I wanna go check something out. Uh, okay, hold on. Ah, uh, hold on. Sorry about that. I went to the store and got some snacks. But anyway, um, oh, so, <laughs> okay. So, what happened was, um, she was new and she, um, turned around, bent over and stuff, you know? And so I'm looking at her, you know, and she's just in the bed, you know, and we're head towards the uh, the headrest or the head, the what is that called? The head, whatever thing. And so I'm sitting um, with my back turned towards her, you know? And she's like, come on, come on, you know? And I'm like, I turn around and I see her, right? And um, I think, it must the room must have been dark or something like that. it wasn't that much it wasn't lit so maybe it was like a lamp on or something but it wasn't a dark so when I turned and I looked at her it was interesting because I wasn't so much uh, amused or turned or or interested in the fact that she was nude but it was just her this the shape you know um, I grew up um, with um, how can I say it? Uh, respecting the beauty of a woman's body. And, um, like, um, some women, you know, they're like, oh, well, you know, guys look as an object. Well, the body is an object. You know, the heart is an object. The finger is an object. The body is an object, you know. And, um, but um, a woman would be a person, um, I guess, an ideology. You know, it's a mental, mental state so uh what how can i say what um what are the requirements or what are the um necessities or whatever it is to fit that uh what is that called that um oh the word just came on my mind but anyway fit that ideology i guess of what is a woman right and of course, when a guy, well, I don't know. Yeah, I guess when a guy look at a woman, you know, the first thing 
they're gonna know notice on some women, especially black women anyway, are the curves. Curves are very um how can I say? Um are very um is the bird appeasing or pleasing? You know, and it's not even um based on the fact that she's a woman and she got the curves. It's like the car that's in front of me with the lights, you know, that curve and stuff like that. You know, and some people might say, Oh, well that looks like a woman's hips you know or whatever i mean okay maybe so okay but that shape or the curve or that initial shape has been on this earth before the first woman appeared on this earth you look at the trees the way they're shaped you know when you draw a tree well what do you draw you know um, when you look at the plants when you look at um different um whatever it is you know everything has curves you know or you know the whole world isn't just straight flat up and down like olive oil it's not, it's not like that so um that was the first thing i noticed and i was like wow you know? and um it's not like too many i mean of course you know all women are you know they got those curves and stuff but it was just i don't know maybe it was the combination of her size you know cause she was in good shape stomach muscles and everything you know six pack um, maybe the size or the width, you know, and then it could have been a lighting too. So I had I got up and went over there, you know, but I still had on my clothes and, um, and what I did was I had grabbed her, I held her on her, um, I guess her, not the hip, the hip, not the waist, but the hips, I guess. And so um, I had kind of squeezed a little bit, you know, she was like, what are you doing? <laughs> and I was like... Oh, wow, you know, you have a nice shape. And she said, okay, you know, because she wasn't thinking about that. I was admiring the beauty of her stature, physical stature. You know, and of course, you know, somebody would say, well, why would you imagine her in that position? But it wasn't, I didn't tell her to get in that position. And I didn't know if she had, um, after we showered, you know, I had put my clothes on. She showered, and I was watching TV. And so I was sitting at the, um, into the bed and she I guess she went and did put her clothes back on or whatever I know at least so so I thought you know then the next thing you know she get grabbed my attention so when I turned around bam that's what I saw and so immediately my attention went from the um, television to the um, you know her uh, the curves and stuff you know and it kind of reminded me <laughs> of this other story but I won't say that anyway and so I had um, moved up towards her and I was up on my knees and um, I looked at her back and that looks really nice and her shoulders, you know, it's like, you know, straight, you know, and, you know, I don't know, it's like she had that V shape, you know, and I was like, wow, you know, and I was just coming and complimenting her on her shape and she was like, well, just do it, just do it. And I'm like, no, I don't want to. And she's like, why, why? I'm like, I don't know, I'm not feeling it and stuff like that. And then she, she kind of like, well, I'm not going to move until you do something. So I'm like, okay, whatever. So, you know, I'm just sitting here, you know, just squeezing on her um, muscles in her legs and her thighs and her stomach and her um, arms and forearms and stuff like that. I didn't touch any of her genitals or anything like that. And I was doing that for about a good 10, 15 minutes and stuff. And then she finally said, hey, you know, please, please, you know. And I'm like, no, no, no. So finally, you know, I just gave in and just did it just, you know, for her satisfaction. But I ain't going to lie, man. I was, like, really surprised because that she would have, she was the um, first black woman that I had ever had consensual sex with since... I was in the military and um, with this one other sister and so that was like years must have went by and I was like wow it was like so interesting but of course you know she was mixed with Thai so um, of course you know the black jeans are the dominant jeans in the world and um, I don't know it was just it was just really interesting I was like wow so it wasn't it wasn't like when we were doing it for her maybe it was for the sexual thing of or the other whatever but for me it was like more of an interest you know just the way we both move the rhythm and stuff the um the skin or you know when our skin contacted how warm she was how warm i was um um 
I don't know, it's like when she did sweat, it wasn't like a sticky sweat or something like that. It was more, it was like kind of, I, I guess it was sticky sweat or whatever, but to me it felt, it was real soft and, it, and I guess it was water, but it also felt like oil too, you know, because our bodies do have oil in it and stuff. And I was really sensitive to all of that stuff, you know. And then when we went inside and stuff, you know, her, um, her um, vagina and stuff, you know, it was like, it, I mean, of course it was wet, but it was still, I just kept feeling that oil type of a, kind of a, um, whatever, you know, and I was like, wow, this is really cool, because, um, I think, um, when you're, I've, I've learned, and maybe that was just from overhearing my friends talk, the ones, the OGs, you know, the ones who were doing it, um, maybe me and my mom could have had these same conversations because me and my mother we talk about anything, you know, or I wouldn't say yeah anything. And um, but somewhere, someone, or it could have been on that AM radio talk show they have in LA. I forgot ninety seven point something or eighty six point something. I forget seventy seven and seventy six. And on there they always talked about adult, um, adult um, content and sex you know it was like that was the first time I heard that you know um, 60 to 80 percent of the women don't have orgasms and stuff um, some women from 18 to 68 never had one for, they did a survey and their survey came back that um, all the women that they had interviewed between 18 and 68 that none of them had ever had an orgasm in their lives and stuff you know and um the one thing I heard was when you um, are engaging in that activity is that um, instead of creating the sensations oh they got a cool cafe I'm gonna go try these cafes um, instead of creating the cafe I mean the cafes instead of creating the situation or the um, the um, uh, excitement by of course, you know, girls might be thinking of other guys or the guys might be thinking of other women or whatever. Is that just relax and let the, um, I guess, the vibrations and the movement and the the, um, the wetness and whatever it is, let that um, become sensitive to that. And that will also, you know, um, make you... Um, you know, it'll bring that excitement for you too until both of you reach that climax and stuff. And um, also talk, you know. Um, I don't think I ever really heard too much about foreplay or anything like that. And then, uh, but it also said like, uh, when you're, um, also it's like when you do it, you, um, you flex your penis while inside and then she can also flex her vagina and she, you know if she's really strong that she can actually hold you inside of her and you can't get out on something like that oh, no, I, heard, I heard all kinds of stuff but this was I'm, I'm thinking back when I was um, in my teenage years and stuff so it was like definitely before I um, turned 20 and stuff and so while I was going on you know I just relaxed and, and you know I just started thinking that you know because I wasn't you know even thinking about you know, I guess, you know, right? Oh, she's fine. I want to hit it and stuff like that, you know. But it was it was interesting, you know. And, um, you know, I listened to her moaning and groaning and saying what she had to say and everything. And she ended up having like two or three orgasms or something like that. And I didn't have any. And she said, you going to do it? I'm like, no, no, it's cool. You know, she said, no, 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 I feel bad. So I'm like, okay. So, um, you know, I just really relaxed. And um, again, and, um, you know, I, I um, had mine, and um, she was like, wow, that was like the best, and blah, 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 and I'm like, <laughs> I'm, you know, because, you know, women always say that's the best, but I guess that's the best they had in the last, at that time, right, so, um, anyway, we had, um, ended up sleeping over, she ended up sleeping over, the next day went to her house, and um, I ended up waiting for her for like a long time, 30 minutes, an hour while she went upstairs, and I think she said she was living with her family or something, I don't know, but she came down and you know um then she took me to these malls where she go and buy these um these wholesale places where she buy clothes and bags or whatever that she sells and stuff and then um we ended up going back to her place 
But I, like again, I didn't go upstairs. I didn't want to go upstairs anyway because it was it's almost like in Japan. You got these brick buildings and stuff. And you walk up in there and it's like, well, uh, you know, you don't know where you're going. You know, you don't know what's like who's hiding behind walls. I guess I wouldn't say brick buildings, but I guess I mean it was a, of course it was a cement building. But going in, I was thinking like you know how you watch the projects and stuff in New York where everybody going up the stairs and stuff and you can get caught or whatever, you know, so I was thinking like that, so I was like, nah, I'm not going in, but, um, what happened was, um, we had, came over, she, um, uh, yeah, cause that was in the hotel, that wasn't in my room, okay, so I'm gonna go back, that wasn't in my room, that was in the hotel that she rented, uh, so the next week, we ended up, I mean, the next day, we ended up going to where she lived at, and then, uh, we hung out, ate, and then I had, uh, went home, I mean, went back to my hotel, then I went to sleep, I didn't go out that night, and then, um, I had, um, because I ended up waking up too late, and then, um, the next morning, I had went, did some, um, what was that stuff called, some, um, some work, and then I went back to my room, and, um, it was this food there, you know, and I was like, huh? So, I was like, Went down there and I was saying like, who came to my room? And they said, oh, your girlfriend came and she was waiting for you. You know, we let her up in the room and she was hungry. So she bought some food and stuff. And I was like, oh my God. I was thinking to myself, I had all my jewelry, all my stuff in there, you know. And um, of course, I think, I guess evidently she must have came to my room once. And then um, I was like, wow, you know, I was like, I went back downstairs and I was mad at him. Of course, you know, I got on that case, but I was nice about it. But I was like, wow, she could have took all my stuff, you know. Luckily, my, not my passport, because I kept my passport with me. But everything else, she could have cleaned me out, you know, and I was like, wow. So, and then what was, and I think that was the last time I was in Thailand. I'm sure that was the last time I, was it? I'm almost thinking, no, it was, no that wasn't the last time. No, it wasn't the last time. What happened was I didn't have a lot of money on me because I had spent a lot. And I had barely had enough money to buy the food. That's how much I spent. And to get to the hotel. And I probably had like maybe $10 left. So then she came over um, that night. You know, she came back. And um, I was like, wow, you know, don't come in my room like that, you know, when I'm not here. I wasn't angry at her or anything, you know. But I just told her, you know, just so a little restraint or respect. And she said, well, I did um, tell them that. But I think because she, you know, she Thai, you know, she spoke the language. And I don't know how she convinced them, but I was like, Ugh. I said, don't do that again. You know, but I wasn't angry, you know. You know, like I'm talking, I just, you know, telling her that, just please don't. You know, so she was like, cool. So we ended up um, going out, hanging out again, and went back to my place, stayed over. I don't know if anything happened or not. If it did, it wasn't like the story I told you. I don't remember. Something could have happened. I'm not sure. But we did talk a lot. And it was really interesting because she was telling me about business in Japan. You know, about her business and stuff like that. So I was like, cool. And then the next day, um, we um, woke up and went to... Because I had started eating at those um, Thai little stands they have outside and stuff. And... um I had some money, so, like, the $10 and stuff to eat with and stuff, so, we went there, I bought her some food and stuff, and it was, it was pretty cool, you know, it had some noodles or something, you know, that was pretty cool, then I went back to the hotel, got my stuff, and said bye, and that was it, you know, and I don't know, maybe we had, we could have traded emails or something back then, I'm almost sure we did, but I wasn't really into all of that stuff, you know, so that's why I missed a lot of, um, a lot of people on my, um, you know, the social media, Facebook and Facebook Messenger. I feel like when I finally did get on last year or the year before, maybe it was last year, I saw all these messages from years back, to like 10 years ago and stuff, you know. So, but anyway, that's not important. So, I don't know. We maybe could have kept in touch, but I wasn't really all into that. But that was an interesting story. I mean, that was just an interesting time being with her, you know, and I was always thought, you know, that, um, cause she never asked to marry or she never asked for any money or anything. And she never really asked a date or anything like that, you know, cause 
you know, because she had her own business, so maybe she was like, and then plus she was dealing with, you know, those um, other brothers and stuff, so it was probably the same old thing, but um, she did tell me that she wasn't really, and it wasn't that she wasn't interested in Thai guys, but it was just that a little, you know, a little, I don't know, it was just something different, and she just liked brothers and stuff, so I don't know. But anyway, that's it. You know, it was just really interesting. I wish we could have kept in touch because it would have been cool to see how things would have turned out later, especially when uh, the economy in, in uh, Philippines, I mean, not Philippines, but in Thailand started to increase. You know, it was really interesting. But I'm out. Peace.